hope everybody's keeping well. So we heard today from Leo um, about the restrictions. So as you may or may not know, October the 22nd, which is basically a week or two away, um, it was supposed to be, you know, to be no such thing ever again of scope for regulations or anything. That's what they hyped it up to be last month and the year, month before. They were like, no, we won't have to put up with any more, no more. Everybody will take the jab and everything, X, Y, and Z, and there won't be any need for restrictions and X, Y, and Z. We see in Norway, Sweden, and well, Sweden never had lockdowns, but anyway, um, in Finland and, De and Denmark too, um, they just completely opened up to have enough people over there, have enough of listening to the government. They just said, we want restrictions lifted we don't want any more restrictions on our businesses on our children or anything else we want just society to go back to normal um even though they're on 65 percent of the population vaccinated and here we're 90 percent it doesn't make any sense but again this country has no logic that's that's something we have to learn the the people in charge have no brains um but we see leo today come along and we've seen pat kenny there in news talk Come along with the fear because again the fear they just want to wrap up the fear because people as they said in OT today and they said it perfectly people were getting too relaxed people are getting too relaxed we want people to be afraid to go anywhere we want people just sitting in the corner with no lights there were blackouts this christmas there were no lights no heat and people just to be just terrified sitting in that corner over there in a ball colored up and with no electricity or nothing that's what they want this country they're just so determined to have it and forgive me for my phone but that's what they're so determined to have. And it had to go up the wrong time. But anyway, we continue on anyway, because I'm not on the city all night. But Leo, why does the who is Leo? Why, why, who is Leo? Who is Leo? Who is he speaking on behalf? Because the vast majority of you and me are saying that we have enough of this. Because people are suffering. We have to understand. There's nearly a million people waiting on waiting lists in hospital for other care apart from COVID. And I have to, <laughs> have to speak up. Type feeds out. But um, I call them back. Um... <laughs> but you know there's nearly a million people on hospital waiting lists and we're coming along and we're like you know we're going to cancel all the ice we're going to cancel any other operations we're just going to go with our COVID even though there's nobody in the hospitals um, compared to what should be in the hospitals for other illnesses for other illnesses there's people waiting waiting there's people waiting for cancer treatment people waiting for lung treatment there's people waiting for other things there's plenty many people in Calvin General Hospital show. there's so many people waiting for men and uh, different things for different diseases that need to be seen to soon. They really, really need to be seen to soon. And there has to be something done. There really, really has to be something done that. And then we see with Meta Health, 40% increase in, in cold phone calls to behave the house, particularly among young people and a lot of young youth suicides. Um, we have to try and do our best because this, the suicide level, not even for young people as alone, but for everybody, uh, for all, nearly all the country, has gone up extensively. And, you know, we have to do something. We really, really have to do something. And we can't have restrictions in saying to people, you know, at any moment, again, this is the thing. This is the fear mongering. At any moment, what Leo is basically saying, at any moment, we could lock down the country, lock down everybody, put everybody back into the homes for Christmas. How about that? Lock down the country, lock all the businesses up, make businesses go bankrupt. Again, this is what we're giving them. And they're going to extend the Emergency Powers Act. They will extend it in November. I went to, I beg my word. Because they want to extend it to February. That's what Stephen Donnelly has said on the record, that they want to extend to February. By good God, what is the need to extend it to February? Like, what is the need? It should not be even extended. It shouldn't have been extended in the first place. And again, this is the excuse they're going to use in February. We have to extend it by a few more months. And again, that's how dictatorships start, when they say we have to extend emergency powers on the emergency measures. As they said, and, and another thing too, Netflix supposed to be got rid of. Netflix supposed to be got rid of on the October the 30th. Even though the government is still listening to their bollocks. Um, and again, Netflix talking out of bollocks. I, I think if I put myself in there, and even though I haven't got a notion of health or any physical health or diseases or anything, I know about mental health, no good bit about mental health. But I wouldn't be good at, in disease control or anything like that. But again, they're talking utter nonsense. They're really just talking utter nonsense. I mean, they're saying the cases are going up, but people are vaccinated. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. We have 90% vaccination, even though they're saying, you know, people are getting COVID, there's 2,000 cases or so, or whatever. Um, and the, in the sense of when you take the jab, it's supposed to stop you from getting ill. And they're saying there's so many people in ICU and X, Y, and Z. Um, and again, they blame the unvaccinated, which is barely 300,000. 300,000 in this country, they estimate, along with 200,000 maybe has taken the first dose. It doesn't make sense. I'm sure you would agree. It doesn't make any sense. There's no logic in this. Um... For a population of maybe five million, it there's no logic. There's no logic, but 
It's just fear mongering. It is really just fear mongering. And I say to the government straight, I said to you straight, and I said to you straight, Leo and Falco, uh, Leo and the Westies and all everyone, that you know, enough is enough. There comes to the point, it's gone on for two years. It's gone on for two years now. I don't want to keep it going as long as humanly possible. I don't want to get rid of the power. Um, but it's gone long enough. Enough people have suffered. Enough people have suffered. It's enough, it's enough, it's enough. There's no need for any more lockdowns. There's no need for any more restrictions. Let people be. Let people go on with their daily day lives. As you say, the vaccine is supposed to stop you from dying and getting sick. Then what's the problem? Really, what's the problem? Why do they say we need to have lockdowns? What's the problem? Please explain. Where's the media? And just to say, Pat Kenny, I never see, like, he's going for OT. He, he must be trying to challenge OT News Talk. Because the, the biggest propaganda set that you could come across, I think even Joseph Stalin will come back from the grave and say that his, he needs that in the Soviet Union. Because this is what it is now, the Soviet Union. Pat Kenny today didn't ask the Taoiseach any how uh, to tarnish the Taoiseach, but we all know he, he's in charge, he's wearing the pants. But, you know, Pat Kenny didn't ask him one question today. Ask them, why do we need, uh, one thing I need to ask, one thing I will ask if I get any of the, t if I get any of the TDs, I'll ask them. Why do we need to lock down the country if a lot of people are vaccinated? And why is so many people nice to you? Explain. Please explain. He didn't ask them any hard questions. Basically, Leo Vacco, not a sweat on him. He should be there sweating his head off. But he should be sweat physically coming down onto the table. Because that's what the media should be doing. Tell, asking these politicians very, very hard questions, very tough questions about what they're doing, you know, what they're up to. But again, not, a, not even a hard question. Leo was there. You could see him on the ca on, a, on a YouTube video. You could see him there. Just ca uh, calm as collective. You couldn't be any more calm and collective. Um, you know, not a care. Well, you're not a care. No one that he won't be asked any hard questions. Pat Kenny probably went through all the questions. Because Pat Kenny is the worst person you can come across. Well, apart from why I'm troubling the rest of them, they're being paid a lot of his salaries. Um, but again, he's there. He's there asking very simple questions. Not asking very tough questions. Of why? How? And we locked down the country two times before Tarnashta. That didn't work. You said that we'd be two weeks to flatten the curve. That never happened. The curve kept coming back. The curve kept coming. Um, and again, you're like, we need to have more restrictions. Even though it's, it's, non, it's nonsensical restrictions. Because the cases are still going to be there. What, like, you can't get rid of them. You really just can't get rid of them. It, make, it makes no sense. It really, really does make no sense. And you have to ask this question. What planet do they live on? Really, what planet do they live on? And they're living on a different planet compared to you and me. Or we're just, are we just using our brains? And they, well, to be honest, they have their brains when it comes to taking money out of the taxpayer. Um, but that's just it. I, I, I don't know. So again, I say straight. October the 22nd. Enough. We have enough. That's the last of it. That's the last of any more notion of restrictions or any more notions of lockdowns you know we have enough the people the taxpayers the people who voted you in have enough and get rid of an effort throw an effort in the lake and we have a criminal investigation on them in the next month or two bring in international people have a criminal investigation because the few of them in effort need to be asked some very serious questions and need to be investigated for very serious accusations because we have to ask and we have to go over everything effort advised the government on was it necessary because it did affect people. It did affect people. And we have to. We can't just let them go home and under lateral style pensions. Um, we have to ask questions. But anyway, take care of everyone. Bye.